can save a lot of time and a lot of effort in their everyday life. So the MCP, Model Context Protocol, which is pretty cool in terms of retrieval augmented generation and structured output with LLMs, which is super critical to build really useful frameworks for data analysis, for example. Welcome to Gen AI Talks. And I have a pleasure of introducing Julian from Pixo AI from Switzerland. Julian, do me a favor, tell us a little bit, what is it that Pixo does? Well, Pixo basically does a customized AI for enterprises and uh, small to middle-sized companies based in Switzerland, on-premise and readily deployable. That works with your historically grown company data. If you had to say, what is it that distinguishes Pixo from the competition. What is it that you guys are doing that nobody else is doing? Well, we offer a full package. So we guide our customers through all of the implementation steps and we make uh, systems that are usually not AI ready, AI ready with our customized um, connectors. We can also customize AI so that it worked with your custom grown, historically grown SQL tables, for example, which is the last 20% of effort that most of our competitors wouldn't do that in the end makes 80% of the, the belly. Let's talk about uh, something that's currently trending in AI that you find really exciting. It has two things actually. On the one part, it's the MCP, Model Context Protocol, which is pretty cool in terms of retrieval augmented generation or augmenting LLMs with additional information, which is basically exactly the space that we're working in as well. And the other one is not that new of a topic, it's structured output with LLMs, which is super critical to build really useful um, frameworks for data analysis, for example but it's still a thing that a lot of LLMs don't support or have big trouble supporting, but super critical to make more sophisticated uh, systems with LLMs. So still, it's not that new of a topic, but still very hot. So, Building a upon that, tell me uh, about a certain myth in the AI community, in the AI world, that you think people should not really buy into or believe. One thing is that I think a lot of people and companies believe that you have to train your own AI model in order to make it useful for your individual use case, which is not the case. They just have to have the right information handed on to the AI model or LLMs in our specific use case, which is exactly what we're doing in the service that we're providing for companies. If you could name something, certain lessons that you have learned when it comes to building in this particular space, as change management, definitely, because it's one part uh, to implement AI systems and retrieval augmented generation systems. It's another part to really give the knowledge to the actual end user on how to use it right, so that there's no wrong uh, expectations. And um, yeah, also, the, especially in Germany, the people are still a bit uh, old fashioned and conservative, and is big of a stepping stone for them to actually start using AI which is basically a loss for them. They can save a lot of time and a lot of effort in their everyday lives. And that's something that we've learned over the last year, especially to really take the customer by their hand and guide them to the whole process. And a final bonus question for you, Julian. Where do you see Pixo as well as the industry? Let's say, I'm not going to ask five years from now because we know that the AI landscape changes very fast. Yeah. Well, let's say two years from now. And the industry in general, uh, especially in regards to our customers, is that their data is more AI ready, or at least the willingness to make they, they, their data AI ready with us, for example, uh, is there. Because that is still sometimes a big of a, of a hassle to get them to, to convince them to actually start a project and make their data AI ready. So I think that will change in the next couple of years, especially with the inference from other continents, other markets, because um, yeah, so the conservative and conservatism in terms of data structure and AI readiness is just not leading anywhere, I think. So I think that's going to change in the next three years. I agree with you. Julian, thank you so much. I wish you, uh, Fixo AI, all the best uh, for the remaining days of the conference Thanks. and in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Big ideas, real tools, bold moves. That's what Gen AI Talks is all about. Don't miss what's next. Subscribe and explore more in our Gen AI community.